Routers can be a little bit intimidating. Things that you need to know to make it uh, simple is the rotation of the bit, uh, which way it's going. Most routers have a little arrow that show the direction on the guard. So my router's going this way, and I want it to I want to push it against the rotation. So that would mean I, I would go this way. If I go, so it's spinning like this. If I were to go this direction, it acts like a wheel and it's gonna go crazy. You, you really can feel it and I might jump it backward. But a simple way, like if you're looking at your piece and you wanna know what direction should I take the router, take your right hand. Somebody taught me this a long time ago and make sure the thumb is point on the wood so if your thumb is on the board, your pointer finger is gonna point the direction the router should go. Does that make sense? So I wouldn't go this way because my thumb's not on the board. So right hand, thumb on the board, it's gonna point the direction you should go. So I'm gonna trim off this quarter inch veneer. Cut the boards long. The less overhang you, you have, uh, obviously the easier it will be to route. Try to have under an eighth of an inch, but I was in a hurry, so I've got some big chunks, but we'll get it. So I know my router spins this way, right hand, I'm gonna go that direction. Notice how I went the opposite direction I said? It's just because I was trimming up this corner a little bit. I didn't want to snap this corner off. So I, I backtracked it a little bit. I do that on some of the joints and it keeps from catching that out. You have to hold the, the router very tight, but you go nice and slow backwards. 